So this is super random video, but I literally searched everywhere on the internet on how to use RIT dye or any dye with a front loader washing machine. And I found like one that RIT put out, but honestly, it wasn't very good. It didn't really explain it, kind of like threw a bunch of stuff out there and was really confusing. So I just figured it out myself and I decided why not make a little video to help you guys figure this out and actually show you guys and explain step by step how to do it so you don't mess up. Here we go. I'm gonna use a whole bottle of RIT dye, denim blue. I gotta use a cup of salt and for some reason, uh, dish detergent. Important side note, I use the one cup of salt because my material is cotton, but if you have nylon, silk, or wool you're trying to dye, you need to do one cup of vinegar. I'm gonna put four cups of water in this one and I turn the dial to high. I'm just gonna let that sit until I start to see some steam coming off of it and feel it and it's very hot and then I'll mix my cup of salt in. I just put four cups of water in this as well, turned it up to high, gonna wait for the steam to come and it to be super hot and then I'll mix in the full bottle of RIT dye. Turn it off and I will put my cup of salt into here, stir it around. So I'm going to shake my RIT super well and then I'm gonna mix it in with the water. I know it's recommended to wear gloves while doing this, probably should have, but I got some of the dye on me last time I did this and the next day it was gone. Also, as long as you wash these pots, as soon as you're done with this, the stain won't ruin them. So what I'm dyeing is camper curtains. We just got a camper and it came with these curtains. What I did before this was I washed these with detergent, um, no softener, just detergent, just did a little wash and then dried them. And now I'm about to wet them and put them in. Yesterday, this is how I figured out how to do this. So now I'm doing my second set of dye because they did not turn out dark enough. Just damp, that's all. Here's my front loader washing machine. So I'm just gonna put these in here. So all the other videos I watched said to put the four cups of dye and four cups of salt in here after you start the load. Absolutely not. That's a horrible idea. First off, it would spill everywhere to put it in here. Second, I started the, my last load and when it started, I was supposed to put the stuff in. Well, when I went to open this, water was just gushing out because apparently, I guess when it's starting, water gets in everywhere. That was not a good idea, so that's another reason I'm making this video because you don't want to do that. So I have my teaspoon of dish detergent to balance things out or something. Here we go. So I just have it straight in my pan. Four cups of water and the dye. And now I'm just going to pour it on top of everything. I've got my four cups of super hot water with salt. And I'm just pour that on as well. And I'm gonna turn it on the hottest that I can. Right now it's just on the normal cycle. Anything over 30 minutes is good, but the longer you do it, the darker it'll be. So I'm gonna set it on an hour and 15 minutes. Just do normal spin cycle. And there you have it, step by step, how to dye something in a front loader wash machine. Seriously, so much easier than trying to mix it in a bowl or whatever else. I will show you the results as soon as it's done. I highly recommend the denim blue color. I wanted to go for a navy blue, but everybody said it turned out purple, and this is definitely true to its color. Definitely turned out denim blue. And the lid is finished. Here they are. Now I'm just gonna let them kind of fluff dry and put some old towels in your wash machine. I like to put my bleach in immediately so no dye stays in the washer. From this to this. I think that it's exactly what I wanted. It's dark. This was super white and light. I'm happy with the results. 